I practice the whole thing holding a mic, so if I'm doing this, just ignore it. Um, I'm here to talk to you not about a specific program, but about a bucket list. So for those of you unfamiliar with this term, this is a list of things you want to do before you kick the bucket. A lot of us have this list. And as a film major, I chose to look at the film, The Bucket List, in order to analyze this. Because I think that there's two things that we can learn from this film that a lot of us don't think about when we're making a bucket list. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, it's about two older gentlemen who find out that they're terminally ill and only have a certain amount of time to, before they die. So they spend the rest of their days going around the world trying to finish this checklist of things that they decided they want to do in order to be able to die happily. Uh, this is actually my list right here. A lot of us have lists like these, and a lot of them have items like run a marathon, um, do a random act of kindness for a stranger, go bungee jumping, things like that. But the thing about the movie, if you've seen it, if you ever watch the end, they get about three quarters of the way through the list, and one of the guys goes home. He goes home to his family, he goes home and he dies, he goes home and lives the rest of his days at home. He never finishes the list, never finishes the whole thing. Now, if I, that were me, I'm sitting there saying, this is the, all the things I want to do before I die, and I don't have them done yet. How is he dying so happy? And that's why I started to realize that it has to be something more than the words on the page. There has to be something more to this idea than just checking off the things you want to do. So let's take an example. Think about running a marathon. This is something on a lot of people's lists. This is a race that is 26.2 miles. Now, anyone who's ever run that long will tell you, it is a miserable experience. You're out there in the heat, you're out there without sunblock, you're running, your shirt and your shorts are chafing you, your feet hurt, you're uphill probably, because that's always how it works. It's not a fun experience. It's not at all. So why do people want to do it? If it's not fun, why do they want to do it? If it was 26.1 miles, would that make a difference? If it was 26 miles, would it not mean anything anymore? It has to be something more than the item. What about bungee jumping? You are plummeting. 100 feet or more to the ground, being yanked around by a giant rubber band, being flung back and forth, and then hanging upside down while they load you to the ground. If it were me, this would probably be my reaction. It's not a fun experience. So why do people want to do it? And you have to realize that it's not because they want to go bungee jumping. It's because they have a certain feeling they want to get. And it's a feeling kind of like this. Oh, that was good timing, right? <laughs> They want to feel like this guy. They want to feel empowered. They want to feel fearless. They want to feel adventurous. It doesn't matter that they were bungee jumping. It's because they want to be a person like this. When they're running a marathon, it doesn't matter that it's 26.2 miles. That's just a number. They want to feel strong. They want to feel capable and dependent on themselves. That's what these lists are about. It's not about the items on the page. It's really about the person you want to be. It doesn't matter if you do one random act of kindness for a stranger. What you really want is you want to be a person who's generous, who's loving and caring to everyone they meet, regardless of who it is. It's not about jumping off a high bridge. It's about being free. It's about feeling courageous and independent. Now, the unfortunate thing is that a lot of us are probably going to go home tonight. We're going to brush our teeth. We're going to go to bed. We're going to say, this was such a great evening. I had a really good time. And tomorrow, we're not going to do anything different. And that's where the second factor comes into this film. These two men knew they only had a certain amount of time to get things done. They had a time limit. They had a certain point where it was going to be all done. And I'm sorry to break it to you guys if it hasn't been broken to you before, but all of us are in that time limit right now. Whether it's next year, next week, on your way home tonight, all of us, it's going to be over at some point. And the unfortunate story is that probably it's too late already to do everything you want to do in life, even if you started right now. So the message we have to take from that is that there's no more time to wait to be the kind of person you want to be. You can't spend another day fighting with people, not doing the things you want to do. There's just not enough time in our lives to wait a single more day to be the person we want to be. You have to say today, I'm going to be more compassionate. I'm going to be more adventurous. I'm not going to waste a single more day being afraid, being petty, being timid, or being quiet. And if you think about your bucket list and look at the things that you want to be as a person, not just the words on the page, you can start to become more kind, more independent, more adventurous, whatever it is, and start doing it today because we only have a certain amount of time and then it's all going to be over and you want to be that person that you want to be for as long as you can. If it's going to really mean something, this list 
has to be written in more than just ink. Thank you.